good evening how are you doing yes i am great what about you i'm doing well too so as you know my name is swati and i'll be taking this session today before we begin would you like to tell me something about you yes uh, my name is prajakta and i belongs to solapur maharashtra and currently mm -hmm. i am pursuing graduation i am doing btech in my uh, in computer science Okay, I think great. that's. So I think you have to learn. Sorry, I think that's enough. Okay, okay, sure, sure. So uh, I believe you have to learn those uh, coding languages, C plus plus, Java, all that yes. stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, okay, then shall we begin with the session's topic? Before that, is there any doubt, any confusion? No. Great. So I guess uh, in today's topic, it is about whether you want to explore the future or know about the past. It's that. So what intrigues you more, your future or your past? I think it's my future because okay. I'm not interested in my past. Whatever happened, happened, and I don't want to look back now. And I'm also <laughs> grateful about my past because that happened and that. that's the reason where i am today if that wouldn't happen then i would i would be different person so okay yeah i would uh, like to explore my future hmm uh, you mentioned that whatever happened in the past has changed you has made you the person you are today are you referring to the challenges the hardships or are you referring to the good parts both things i think both contribute uh, uh to become the person who i am definitely uh, anything you would like to share anything that has changed you as a person hmm. any no. incidents no currently i just cannot no like recall anything no worries no worries if during the session something comes up do let me know Yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh, uh, you mentioned you want to know the future. What particularly do you want to know about your future? Okay. Uh, I would like to know about my health and my career, where I am mm. going to be, and how healthy I will be. So, when I come back in my present, then I would love to work on it, and maybe mm. I could change my future. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you want to have a better future, career-wise and health-wise. Yes. Uh, nothing about your personal relationships. So uh, nothing about uh, your other life, uh, except for career and physical health. Mm, about my relationship. Okay. I have good relationship with my family and friends. So. i don't think there is uh, anything about to worry so mm -hmm. yeah that's why i just wanted okay. to know these two, two things okay so uh, the relationships with family and friends you see them more uh, of a, per a permanent kind so you're not worried about that but health and career are quite fluctuating yeah that's why right. we concerned. cannot predict what will happen so yeah mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Uh, other than your life, uh, how do you see the world in future? Um, what changes do you see? Maybe there will be more technologies, and life will become more easier, and we will become more dependent on the technologies and things mm -hmm. and inventions. So. i think uh, technology will be at its peak so definitely yeah mm -hmm. um, and and things are more accessible uh, what will be more accessible things hmm. okay everything then everything yeah okay uh, you're not concerned that uh, maybe there won't be any future and the whole world will just collapse and it will end <laughs> uh, Don't you think that is also a possibility? That might be, but why to uh, focus on the negative side? <laughs> Even though that is the case, I I want to say 
it to myself okay there will be life and everything is going to fine mm okay everything is because, going to be fine yeah. look at the bright yeah. side yeah at the end it's a future when it comes it know so mm-hmm. i don't want to worry about it in today definitely uh so about the past is there something about your past or the world's past country state your relatives your friends anyone's past that you want to change something that should be changed in our history if not your personal life mm, anything that do we change in history okay i think uh, i would love to go back then when uh, education was not accessible to girls easily mm-hmm. so i want to change that time and i want it uh, i want to reduce their struggle and you know uh, savitri bai phule and uh, her mm-hmm. husband struggled a lot to uh, Uh, for the uh, girls education so i would mm-hmm. like to reduce their struggle and yeah that's it definitely uh, so you will try to change the education system that girls should not be left uneducated in any case yes yeah true or do you think this is uh, this is an issue uh, even nowadays or maybe in some villages or somewhere where the girls are still not uh, taught i think uh, it is an issue still now because in rural areas if we uh, focus on the rural areas there are still situation that girls are restricted for to some uh, how to i think uh, girls are restricted and they don't have access to education and being they don't have that much freedom to uh, stand for their self even they don't even try to get out of that uh, cage true uh, because they don't even know how life is outside that cage exactly yeah. i they don't I have any idea of it. Yeah, sorry, sorry they don't have any idea no 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 please complete uh they don't have any idea that about the world where it is and what are the possibilities and how what they can do how they can progress and they don't have any idea so i don't think uh uh without that uh, their progress is possible exactly and when the girls do know about it they fight back i think we have all heard the case of malala when she knew that okay I, i need to study she fought back she fought the terrorists with the guns so yes when it comes to that uh yeah yes. i just wanted to bring a, f- a phrase to your notice it is said that uh, when your house is on fire you think mm-hmm. that the whole world is burning uh, did you mm-hmm. catch the message uh, hidden in those lines i think uh, when it comes Okay, are you typing? Yeah, yeah, I'm just typing so that you can see it if you forget okay. it. Okay. Okay. Are you were going to say something? Yeah, I think uh, if we find something uh, uh some challenge or some problems with ourselves, then we think that okay, it is also happening with the world. and everywhere it is the same i mm-hmm. hope i'm right close pretty close okay. uh, so uh, since uh, the girls that you mentioned they were never taught uh, they never knew that they should be studying so they mm-hmm. assume that yeah this is how the world works that boys exactly. go and study boys go and work girls mm-hmm. stay and do household chores so right. everyone stop believing that oh it is used in different contexts i just brought in yeah yeah because because they are fun- functioned like that they from the their from their childhood 
they are uh, said those things and they saw those things so it is it be, it has become their mindset okay this is how it works exactly okay then uh, is there anything else that you want to add to this topic or else we can wrap this topic up mm, i don't think anything for past and future no okay no. then oh yeah so that's it for that topic let's do an extempore now okay yes uh, have you heard of peer pressure do you think uh, sometimes it can be a motivator or is it always something negative peer pressure i don't know about it mm, try to guess have you heard the word peers peer yes i heard about it but Mm-hmm. Try to no. use this. Okay, you haven't heard the word. Peer just refers to uh, your friends, colleagues, people mm-hmm. around you. Mm-hmm. Those will be like your peers. So mm-hmm. uh, imagine that uh, everyone is doing this special course on learning a new language. You already mm-hmm. have a lot of languages in your course, but everyone else in your class is studying this new language. So you mm-hmm. also feel pressured to do it. that oh my god now everyone else is doing so i also have to do this now uh, that would be being peer pressured this was just one example whenever you feel pressured to do something uh, something that everybody else is doing that is peer pressure okay now i got it so what i need to do now now tell and me about it like uh, how you feel about it were you ever part of peer pressure were you ever victimized by it do you think it is a positive motivator or it it is always a negative thing just everything about it okay i think everyone goes through this situation where uh, they experience pre- peer pressure so maybe uh, i have also experienced it but i exactly don't remember now mm-hmm. um, i think uh, it should not be in this way like so everyone is doing that and it i should do it i don't mm-hmm. think it is the right way because maybe it's working for all of them and it may may not be work for me so i don't think uh, it is the good way to do things or uh, yeah it is it, it's not a good way to do things Mm-hmm. uh we should always think about what works for us and what is good for us instead of uh, taking that pressure we can stay calm and think is it uh, really needed to do it for myself or it just doing i'm just doing it for the sake of uh, people are doing it so i should do it mm-hmm. so i think i don't think it is the um best way to take our decisions mm-hmm. so sometimes peer pressure may be the good for the things like okay if the person is lazy and he is surrounded with the uh, active people and he got that peer pressure and he started working then and in that case uh, i can say it is good but mm-hmm. most of the cases we see that okay like bhed chal hota hai na i can say that what do you know hindi yeah i i, I do know hindi I, i did not hear the word correctly okay so the crowd going with the crowd doing what everyone else is doing yeah. i try <laughs> i do know hindi <laughs> yeah. actually what happens is when we're talking in english and suddenly a hindi word comes i was like yeah. bhed chal what's that <laughs> अल्कोहल ड्रग्स सो जस्ट टू फिट इन विद दो फ्रेंड्स टू बी कूल लाइक देम they start uh, doing the same things what is yes. your take on that 
and also with same uh, goes with the social media if someone does, don't like to use social media but everyone is on social media so that person has to be on social media so i think it also goes with that mm-hmm. absolutely okay then uh, so I- i'll just mention two things then we'll move ahead so okay. um, you're aware of the rule right that with i and we they so first person and third person we follow yes. the same rule of uh, helping verbs and verb yeah. Yeah. so whenever we are using these words we will never add the s after the verb so we will never say belongs we will say belong belong i yeah. belong and we belong they belong mm. i was afraid something will fall off okay uh, and whenever there is second person uh, she he um, you know yes, the answer know. what it is yeah. yeah he she belongs just wanted yeah. to point it out i know you know the yeah. rules but sometimes in the flow we yeah. so yeah. sometimes yeah yeah uh, that is it uh, and the second thing that i wanted to mention was whenever there is second degree of words um we are using the second degree then we don't have to add more for example if we are saying easier we can simply state easier we don't have to add more before it because easier okay. already means in degree if you want to use more it would be more easy hmm. without using the i e r okay yeah that was it uh, let's go to another extremely topic Uh, okay. do you think that uh, uh, do you think that it is important in our life to face failures to be a uh, part of the life of those uh, stressful moments to actually achieve success or can we go smooth ride and uh, achieve success i think failure are the most important thing in our life but i don't think we take it that seriously to the failure we always uh, take it negatively and we always uh, got depressed when we got failed but i don't think that should that's the right way to uh, see of your failure mm-hmm. because uh, failures are something which allows us to grow which uh, which will uh, help us to realize where we are going wrong and what mistakes we have did so that's why we got failed so mm-hmm. uh, failures are uh, most important things according to me if we don't test mm-hmm. uh, fail- failure then i don't think we are able to uh, uh, we are able to recognize the uh, we are able to recognize the how to just um mm-hmm. i don't think we are able to value yes. our success mm-hmm. without our failure because if we if we get a direct success then we we don't value that much if we go through our failure and then we get success that success is more important than first one mm-hmm. yeah that's it from my side uh, yeah would you say that uh, you have faced a failure in your life or something that taught you something yes i have faced failure in my life uh in when i was in diploma uh i was a uh, backlog and there were subjects that i could not clear so at that time i was so depressed and uh, i never thought okay that that was my first time so i was little anxious and after that once i got cleared that those subject and that happiness and that joy was you know we cannot express in words definitely that's right yeah okay. so uh, i guess you faced something you realized your mistakes and then you worked upon it that yes. was the journey yeah absolutely right okay 
uh just one thing i'll just put a word on your screen please read it out for me failure okay so uh, when we are uh, pronouncing this word we don't uh, pronounce the u in it so in the final pronunciation it comes as failure failure, failure. okay failure um, yeah exactly to split it it might come up like this failure yeah like failure yeah yeah oh uh, yes okay. uh, just one sentence i'll tell you the sentence uh, try to edit and correct it okay. the sentence is uh, what mistakes we have uh, did what uh, mistakes um, yeah i guess the whole sentence was that uh, i think uh, i guess uh, we have to learn to know Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't need to use how when we use did yeah we have to learn from the mistakes that we did that's yes. it um, so uh, always try to skip the redundant words which are not necessary um, okay. because that makes the sentence too wordy and most of the times grammatically incorrect not every yeah. time but most of the times yes okay then uh yes uh, we'll move forward with another topic do you think okay. that uh, <laughs> do you want to no. talk about something else no no it's fine your topics are interesting <laughs> no worries uh, do you think that uh, mental illness is uh, mental illness is something that people don't deeply understand and they always uh, judge the person who's actually facing it but they don't even believe that it exists i mean uh, what has been uh, your experience with this okay uh, firstly people don't take it uh, seriously and they actually make fun of the person who is experiencing that thing mm-hmm. so i think mental illness uh, awareness of mental illness uh, is more needed and it's necessary also because mm-hmm. after pandemic there are uh, increase in cases of mel- mental illness and depression and things like that and we need to uh, give attention to those things because it's also increased in children so uh, if uh, as a adult we can act- uh, we can at least recognize the problem but mm-hmm. we if a child is going through that situation and nobody is paying attention to him then uh, how that child is going to overcome it mm. so i That's think true. to recognize that uh, problem we need to be aware before on uh, diagnosing that problem mm. and that's the important thing we need to uh take care we need to be aware and we need to have knowledge about the signs and the precautions we need to take or if it is a severe case then we need to take help from the doctors and we should uh, start our medication and uh yeah i think those are the things and we should always ask for help when whenever we are experiencing such problems we should not be ashamed of being in that situation because it's like a physical disease if we got hurt physically then we go to the doctor then when it comes to the um, psychological problem then why to hesitate it is also the same problem and it's happening with us then we should always seek for the help mm. yeah absolutely okay so all in all you believe that first of all people uh, should know about these things the more the awareness the lesser the chances of uh, yes suicides or uh, maybe hurting someone else as well yeah so that is first and the most important things second is that uh, people should not judge in fact people should support and help yes and that it is uh, don't be afraid of asking for help yes absolutely right okay uh, i can give my final feedback right now uh, no yes. we can d- discuss more about this topic for 30 more seconds i'll give my feedback in the last 2 minutes
okay yeah okay uh, so uh, i don't know if you have uh, uh, watched any movie related to these scenes or did you watch beers in the gi guess that yes i have movie. watched and i think uh, sushant's the last movie i don't remember the name uh what was it um the copy of fault in our stars are you referring to that where they are like sari siri something like that i don't remember no no okay. no it's something different i don't remember it no worries no worries um, yeah. okay i'll just wrap it up i just wanted to bring that up that okay there is a, a bollywood mo- modified version yes. of mental illness as well okay yeah. so the session uh, you were quite expressive uh, for extempories as well as the sessions topic uh, i think uh, the grammar part that i mentioned was already there other than that mm-hmm. i feel the vocabulary can definitely improve Uh, i know you know a lot of words but uh, we have to put them to use so you don't forget yes. them yeah. like uh, when you were saying that uh, i cannot express that in words uh, can you describe that feeling in one word as well this word inexplicable okay um, inexplicable yeah it is similar to unexplainable okay so, uh, uh what happens is when you're saying those words if you add this word it just adds more power to your sentences yes. more essence to it so mm. uh just keep working on the vocabulary and the grammar part and a little bit on the pronunciation otherwise it was lovely talking to you any doubt uh, regarding any of this or whatever we shared no i got okay. it everything Okay then. Uh, so yeah, have a great week ahead and good night. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you. Bye.